Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Science Summit here at the Orlando Science Center. I'm here with Hannah, and Hannah, who do you have with us today? Hi, Alex. I've got Memphis, our striped skunk, and today we're going to be talking all about enrichment. Okay, so tell me a little bit about that. So I'm going to put him down and let him get into his enrichment. So enrichment is just something that is new and exciting and helps mentally and physically stimulate an animal. Okay. So for us, you know, when we go to the gym, whether or not we actually like going to the gym, <laughs> that's enrichment for us, or playing video games, watching TV, all kinds of things, that's what we call enrichment. Okay. So Memphis um, is using a puzzle, a feeding puzzle, so he has to use his brain in order to move <laughs> um, and figure figure out how to get that food out of the ball. Okay, so it's not, uh, not only do we need some entertainment, but the animals need some entertainment as well. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, if you went out to a restaurant every single night and got your food handed to you compared to going home and cooking, mm -hmm. it's a lot more exciting to cook. I mean, personally, I love to cook. <laughs> right. I don't know about you, um, but I think it always tastes better and it's more rewarding to cook your own food than right. it is just to be handed. New experiences. I absolutely. like that. Absolutely. So not only do the animals here at the Science Center need this enrichment, uh, are you saying that animals at home like our pets would need some enrichment as well? Definitely. So animals' um, overall health is directly related to their mental and health um, and also their stress levels. So this actually reduces that stress and it improves their mental health as well. So you can do any kind of enrichment for your animals at home. So even if you have a fish, you can change out the props, give it something new. You can, if you have a dog, you know, doing puzzle feeders like this work really well. Even training, that's what we call enrichment too. Okay. So anything that's new and helps stimulate both their physical and mental abilities. Awesome, and so how, tell me a little bit about more about Memphis. Yeah, so Memphis is a five-year-old striped skunk and he's been here at the Science Center his whole life. So if people want to see more of Memphis, see more of the animals, or hear more about enrichment activities, where can they go? What can they do? So you can come here to the Science Center. We have our show, uh, Life with Animals. It's from 110 to 150 on the second level on the Science Live stage. But this is something that if you wanted to volunteer and donate your time, you could go to aquariums, you could go to zoos, and volunteer with animals and provide enrichment and also educate people on animals. Yeah, and it's a little bit of enrichment for yourself too, helping with the animals. Exactly. Who doesn't want to see a cute <laughs> right. skunk? Exactly. Well, Hannah, thank you so much, and thank you for joining us here on the Science of It.